The harbor of necessity is a busy place. We all depend on it. Cranes, containers, trucks, trains, ships, and tugs. It's vital infrastructure for the nation's economy, all working together like one big machine, thanks to teamwork. Up and down the West Coast, Crowley is a key part of that team. From Alaska, Puget Sound, San Francisco Bay, LA and Long Beach harbors, all the way to San Diego, Crowley operates one of the most advanced fleets of ship assist and escort tugs in North America with an unmatched level of experience. That experience got its start over 120 years ago when Thomas Crowley launched his harbor services with nothing more than one 18-foot Whitehall rowboat and a vision. Within a few years, services expanded to include towing and ship assist in San Francisco Bay. And by the 1920s, Crowley expanded into Puget Sound and established a tugboat service in San Pedro in Southern California. Of course, in 120 years, a lot has changed. Today, Crowley's tugs are more powerful, more maneuverable, and cleaner running than ever before. What hasn't changed is the company's commitment to meet customer needs, whatever the circumstances. And in harbor work, each day, each customer, each job, and each harbor is different. To provide tug escorts for tankers traveling through Prince William Sound to the Valdez Marine Terminal, assuring safe passage, even under the most extreme winter conditions, Crowley designed the most powerful cycloidal propulsion tugs ever built, the Prince William Sound class, capable of a bollard pull in excess of 210,000 pounds and a speed over 15 knots. Along with our Z-Drive Alert Class Prevention and Response Tugs, these vessels feature best-in-class technology specifically designed for the unique challenges of this region with firefighting, emergency, and oil spill response capabilities. 2,200 miles to the south, Puget Sound presents its own very distinct environmental and physical challenges. Of course, we have a significant amount of tanker traffic here in the Sound, and the tankers are going through one of the most ecologically sensitive spots on the globe. We are very, very fortunate in the Northwest. Uh, Crowley, they've been on the cutting edge of equipment here in the country and the world. So we have some of the biggest and some of the best tugs uh, and the best tugs that are suited for the jobs that they have to do. And the jobs here in the Sound are very varied. We need tugs with a heavy bollard pole for escort work. And then down in Seattle, Tacoma, we've got, they're not getting any smaller. We're getting larger and larger container ships going into very tight places. So you need there uh, a powerful tug, but yet a maneuverable and quick tug and not too big because the waterways just will not allow it. And so Crowley has suitable equipment, good equipment, and again, personnel. It goes hand in hand. We're very fortunate here in the Sound. We have very good tugboats. We have very good tug captains and crews, some of the best in the world. We always talked of Crowley as a can-do company, and that's probably a good, that's probably a good moniker. It seems to fit. In Southern California, it's not just the freeways that are jammed. The adjacent ports of LA and Long Beach are the two busiest container ports in the country. As soon as we get on a ship, we come through the break wall and we're in congested waters and immediately. In fact, a mile after we come through the break wall, heading up the main channel, you really can't turn a ship around or dock it without going into a turning basin and backing into a slip. And we're constantly working in uh, close quarters situations. We have the same size harbor that we had um, for the last 25 years and the ships have gotten bigger and deeper and our biggest challenge is, is, is squeezing those large um, VLCCs with the 65 foot drafts into the berth safely. Uh, we're ship handlers here more than anything else. At Puget Sound you do an eight hour run to Tacoma and one docking. In eight hours we can do four dockings and three undockings and then go home happy. Yeah, the Crowley boats, the Boyce Schneider boats, they work very well in this harbor. They're powerful, they're 54 tons, 
uh, but they're, they're, just, uh, they're just approximately 100 feet in length. So they're very compact packages for the power that they have. And they're very handy in this harbor to go in the back channels and to make turns and turning basins where we only have a couple hundred feet on either end. They're just the perfect tug for working down in this environment. When, as the ships get larger and larger and we put them in the smaller and smaller slips, uh, the harbor class tugs are just outstanding. And the Crowley guys, I, I haven't seen in any other port where we have a working relationship with the uh, tug captains. You know, the pilot tug captain uh, relationship is so smooth. It, it's very collegial and it's very professional too at the same time. Um, so having a tug up there with another set of eyes and someone who knows you well enough to know when you want them to speak up is really valuable. They want to do a good job for you. And I find that to be the norm with the Crowley boats, not the exception with the operators they have. They're very well trained, they have high uh, safety standards, high professional standards, and they're a pleasure to work with. Safety, experience, state-of-the-art equipment matched to the job, and the most knowledgeable personnel in the business. Since the 1890s, all up and down the West Coast, Crowley has been keeping our seaborne commerce moving. Tugs in any port are an absolute integral part of the movement of commerce, the movement of ships in the port. Uh, no tugs, ships don't move.